Okay, welcome to another video from N4LQ on the IC7300. In the last video, we talked about using the passband tuning to reduce the noise, and we turned it completely counterclockwise. We maintained our bandwidth at 500. Notice 500 hertz, and we turned them both over. The noise became lower pitched, easier to listen to, much more soothing. And this is best seen, go back to default, by using the uh, audio scope. And if you look over here on the left, we have the uh, audio spectrum up here and the audio waterfall down here and this is your oscilloscope. Now this is actually what's coming out of the speaker of the radio. This is not the IF. This is actual audio. So again we're going to rotate to the left and you can see what is actually happening. So we've moved our noise down to a lower pitch. We've cut off the higher end of the spectrum and uh, we've maintained our selectivity. <clears throat> so a side effect of this, and it's a good one, is the, uh, the quality of the CW audio. I have another transmitter over here I'm going to send some dits with <clears throat> and I'm going to demonstrate the effect. Now I'm going to go back to the default bandwidth and if you look, you can see here that the the audio is um, on the oscilloscope is very sharp on the uh, input and the output for the uh, both the uh, the onset of the uh, dit and the decay of the dit are very uh, very sharp. It's a little bit of a spike right there. It's not necessarily the fault of the transmitter, but the, the DSP and the receiver actually shapes it that way. And it, uh, some people say, well, it's, it's harsh sounding. And that's a pretty common problem that uh, DSP receivers have. Crystal filters tended to round that off and make it sound a bit more soothing. The DSP doesn't. So, let's start them up again, and this time we're going to rotate our twin passband tuning counterclockwise. And as you can see here, it's very rounded. And CW sounds softer. And of course, the band noise is much less. Now we're going to talk about using the notch control. So push and hold your notch. And be sure it's set to the uh, wide position. Could you do that by scrolling through them like this. And then we're going to adjust the uh, notch position using the... Uh, multi knob and keep an eye on the uh, the audio spectrum over here as it begins to disappear on the left and if you go too far you'll just totally notch everything out. So what we want is just a little bit of that right there. This black area is what we just notched out. Let's look at our signal coming in again now. And let's go back to the way it was started out. Look at it. See how it's 
shaped like a mushroom. Let's go back to the notched position. Right about right in there is about where you want it. Let me close this. Now as you can see we have a nice smooth transition on the uh, leading edge and the tailing edge of our scoped signal here so our dits look nice almost textbook like look how nice and soft it is it sounds so sweet so uh, let's do a little listening around and go back hit the mini scope button here Look how quiet it is. This guy is about S8. Let's go back and look at the audio. And we can stop this. how nicely shaped his signal looks. Let's find a weaker signal. these guys aren't even strong enough to move the S meter yet they stand out sharp and clear above the background noise reduce the RF gain just a tad o'clock in the afternoon. A lot of DX starting to come in. So I think we've really enhanced the listening pleasure of CW now. And of course it's uh, it's very sharp tuning. Fortunately we have a scope we can see the signals to go to don't have to worry about opening up real wide just to find somebody there you go thanks for watching